It's summertime, so that means grill time. And like with Thanksgiving dinner, some of the best parts about grilling are the sides, right? I love baked beans, and I'm gonna show you my favorite baked bean, which you're going to love too. So let's get started. The first thing I have going here is I have some bacon that I have cut into small bite-sized pieces and I've put in my Dutch oven here and I have not oiled this pan. This is just rendered fat that's come out of this bacon. This is uh, Nooski's Applewood Smoked Bacon, which is my favorite bacon. I would recommend some sort of smoked bacon on this if you can do that. This is delicious bacon. So we've got that, uh, just browned it off. I didn't want to go too crispy. I want to kept it a little bit soft. And now I have a one large sweet onion. This is a Vidalia onion that I've chopped in fairly good size um, pieces. I don't want these to just disappear. I want to have a little bit of texture in this casserole. So I did chop them a little bit big. We're going to get those in here browning or cooking off. They don't have to get brown. Let me say to cook them till they're soft with that bacon grease. And oh, you do not want to drain that bacon grease. The bacon grease is one of the ingredients in this recipe. I'm going to turn it down to about a medium because I don't want them to burn. And now we're going to put the rest of the casserole together and I'll show you over here. Okay, now those onions will take, you know, five, 10 minutes to cook. Again, we don't want them to go brown. If they go brown, that's not a big deal, but we just want to get them soft and cooked. And let me show you the rest of what I have here. Now, what I have here is these are great northern beans. And these have, this is three cups of dried beans that I soaked overnight and I boiled. Now, they're nice and soft. I can squish them in my fingers and that's what you're looking for when you do this. Now, don't be afraid of using dried beans. If you've never used them before, the hardest part about dried beans is remembering to take them out the night before and soaking them overnight. It's so simple. Now, could you use canned beans? Yes, you could use canned beans, but I'll tell you, this recipe was a recipe that I got from my mother-in-law. Now, my mother-in-law made a few dishes that were outstanding and her baked beans were one of them. So my mother-in-law, my husband comes from a family of eight kids and I come from a family of five kids. And we had, when we got married, there was always somebody's birthday. It was the kids or the spouses or the grandkids or somebody's birthday. So every month we would do a birthday celebration at grandma's house and there would be cake and there'd be bring a dish to pass. And in summertime during cookouts, we always had baked beans. And the first time I had these baked beans, I just fell in love. I thought they were fantastic. So. Can you use canned beans? I don't know, I've never used canned beans. I'm sure they would be fine. My mother-in-law, this was her recipes and I really, I haven't changed it and I've always done the dried soaked beans. So don't be afraid of soaking your beans. It's so simple and they're probably cheaper. So like I said, three cups of dried beans is gonna make that much bean. That's gonna be a big, big casserole of beans. Not for a party for sure. And now here's her recipe. And I'm gonna tell you, I did, I'm trying an experiment today. Now I've said I've never varied her recipe and I haven't. I have followed it to a T for all these years, but I'm gonna try something this time because I wanna get a little bit more of a smoky barbecue flavor in there. So I am going to use a half a cup of a sweet honey barbecue sauce. And normally, the recipe would be one cup of ketchup. But I'm gonna go half and half, half a cup of ketchup, half a cup of barbecue sauce, just because I'm not sure. I'm sure either way, it's gonna be fine. I'm not worried about that it's not gonna turn out. It'll be fine. All right, so with that, we're gonna add two teaspoons of yellow mustard. And I'm just guesstimating it here. And again, this is not a precision dish. It isn't gonna fail if you have a quarter teaspoon more of mustard in there than you should. So we got some mustard in there. This is two tablespoons of dark brown sugar. I'm gonna mix in there. And two tablespoons of dark molasses. And my trick on this molasses is I put a little bit of olive oil in the bowl so the molasses will come out. And now I'm just gonna mix that all together. 
And when these onions are done, we're gonna put these all together and we're gonna put them in the oven. So, see you in a minute. Okay, we have cooked these for about 10 minutes. We've got a pretty good cook on these. They're not cooked completely off. They got a little bit of give in there, which I want. And the bacon is done. And now we're gonna add these beans right to the bacon and onions. I'll stir in these beans. And now we have our sauce, which I'm just going to add in to the beans. Get it all out. That's the good stuff. Mmm, look at all rich. These really are old fashioned style baked beans. I mean, they're old fashioned because I got this recipe almost 40 years ago. <laughs> These are definitely old fashioned style beans and they are absolutely delicious. Now we're gonna put a little bit of water in here just to give them a little bit more moisture. They gotta bake for about an hour and beans are extremely thirsty. So we're definitely gonna put a little bit of water in there. I'm gonna put some, just a good healthy pinch of salt. Of course, we've got the salt from the bacon. A healthy pinch of pepper. These beans love pepper. Mmm, that looks good. Now, don't be fooled by this pale color. They will get darker as they bake. All right, I'm gonna cover these and bake these for one hour on, I believe it's 400 degrees, and we will taste these with our dinner tonight. Okay, so this house smells amazing. It's been driving me nuts all day. I can't wait to eat this. So let's get the reveal here. What do they look like? A nice big pot of smoky barbecue porky beans. Mmm. All right, we're gonna go taste them. We'll see what they taste like. All right, we got this plate of porky goodness. I've got this beautiful link here, this Italian sausage link made by our local butcher. I've got this these baked beans that have this beautiful bacon and all bacon bites all over in there, which are delicious. I cannot wait to taste these. Let's give them a try. Definitely want to get some bacon in there. Ready? Mmm. Mmm. These are balanced so perfect. That barbecue sauce. I can hardly tell the difference. So I could go either with the straight ketchup. I'll probably stick with the barbecue sauce. They're not super sweet. They're porky. They're saucy. They're absolutely delicious. And I can't wait to eat this dinner. Let me know if you're gonna try these. Please like, subscribe, share. And I will leave a link for this coleslaw recipe, which is a KFC copycat coleslaw. See you later. Mm -hmm.